The term paramedic has become widely known in recent years. In fact, the general public now associates the word with any person who responds to any medical emergency. However, the title refers to a specific level of skills, training, and national certification, which are held by a relatively small number of people. Here in Whatcom County, the only full-time paramedics are the 39 employees of the Bellingham Fire Department who are assigned to the Whatcom Medic One program. Let's have a look at what it takes to become a paramedic. In addition to their fire training, new employees are required to become certified at the emergency medical technician level during their probationary year. This course is 150 hours long and is taught through Bellingham Technical College. Here, the students begin learning about anatomy and physiology and how to perform basic skills such as bandaging, splinting, spinal mobilization, and the use of the automatic defibrillation device. After the student passes the Washington State exams, they begin to provide patient care at the basic life support level. Once they are assigned to an engine crew, the firefighter EMT will respond on a BLS ambulance to non-life-threatening calls. They begin to develop an experience base which will help them decide if they want to continue their education and move to the paramedic level. If they are accepted for the paramedic training course, the employee begins an intensive 2,000-hour program which is also taught through Bellingham Technical College. Paramedic students receive additional training in cardiology, pharmacology, and begin learning how to start IVs, interpret 12-lead EKGs, intubate, and administer a wide range of medications. Physicians are an integral part of this education, both in the classroom and clinical phases. One of the most important rotations is in St. Joseph's Emergency Room Department. Ill patients, particularly critically ill patients who come to the ER, if they have been treated appropriately in the field with uh, sophisticated medications, airway control, including intubation, which is a difficult procedure, if they are stabilized with appropriate intravenous lines, appropriate medications, and appropriate life-threatening medications or procedures, it makes our job so much easier and it increases potential salvageability or, or survival. You mentioned intubation. Our next stop is actually going up to see Dr. Sean Sullivan in the operating room. Well, airway management and endotracheal and intubation in particular are far and away the most important skills and some of the most critical and life-saving skills that an anesthesiologist, an ER physician, and a paramedic would need to know to take care of patients. Can you briefly describe the procedure? Sure. Uh, airway management uh, and endotracheal intubation in particular is the passing of a soft tube through the mouth into the windpipe or trachea of a patient in order to be able to ventilate the lungs and provide oxygen and to reduce the chance of the patient aspirating. We are all, as physicians, committed to the training of paramedics uh, in airway management in general and endotracheal intubation in particular. I know as a paramedic I come back and, and essentially retrain at fairly regular intervals. It always amazes me the difference between the initial training I received in here versus things out in the real world. Upside down cars, in ditches, the middle of the night. Without your training, there's no way we could do what we do. Our paramedic students also do rotations in intensive care, labor and delivery, and they work with the respiratory therapy department. In addition, we also go down to Seattle for rotations at Children's Hospital to learn about pediatrics and at Harborview Hospital's Burn Center. Well, certification is just the beginning of the process. Uh, continuing education is the ongoing steps that occur after certification. Mandated activities by the state, uh, activities that we add in, such as research studies, such as the current National Institutes of Health study we're doing, and then, of course, an evaluation of new technologies and new knowledge as knowledge evolves. We want our personnel to be the best. We want them integrated with the entire system. We want to be able to provide the best care for the citizens of our community. Regardless of whether it's an earthquake, pandemic, man-made disaster, or any one of the thousands of routine emergencies that we encounter every day, paramedics and EMTs are an integral part of our medical system. Whether your medical emergency requires basic or advanced life support skills, the Bellingham Fire Department and Wacom Medic One stand ready to provide the best care possible. <music>